Hey everyone, it's James. Uh, in this quick tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create uh, multiple effect sequences all into one scene. So like, uh, moving heads doing a circle, and then a dimmer chase, and then also, um, say, LED color mixing fixtures doing a different chase. So, uh, just you'll see. So basically, uh, you know, I can turn on all my fixtures. I'll turn them all on first. Make sure everybody's on. Just in case I didn't select, I don't need RGBW. So select all your fixtures, go to the effect tab. Um, color mixing fixtures in a color beam 12s. I'll put it right here. You see that these automatically grab the dimmer channel. So that's kind of cool. If you want to create some really cool um, matrix dimmer effects, you can do that just by, you know, selecting, putting the color matrix over um, non color mixing fixtures. It's pretty cool, uh, fun thing to do. Go ahead and play with it. It's really, it's really interesting. So you see, um, you know, my color mixing fixtures start to light up. So say I want to do a fire effect for these. I'll leave those selected. Minimize the effect. Do position effect. And now if I select all my fixtures, all my moving heads. So color mixing and heads. Uh, in our pocket spots over here are gonna do all part of the same circle. You know, you can get on here and uh, move the area, adjust the phasing, stuff like that. So, say we get this one the way we like it. Now, I want to create um, color wheel sinus curve. For the color wheel channel, Let's create a curve. We can select our fixtures right here and select the channel in our color. You see that did it really fast, so we just tweaked the size down a little bit. So, and also that'll kind of match the, the fire effect too, that'll be kind of cool. Um, so just kind of mess with the phasing. So you'll see that I just made three different effects uh, apply to two different fixture types. Um, and let's stack them all right now. Uh, so what you can do here is anybody ever wonders what this does? The compression. The compression will actually um, instead of generating instead of generating like so many uh, number of steps in the sequence um, per value of what's going on in the in the sequence it's going to compress it so if you know there isn't there's uh, say no more than 10 values changed within this amount of time it's only going to make two steps versus like six you know so just stuff like that um, so I'm just going to put it at zero, I'll just kind of show you the, how many steps you can get if you don't compress it at all. I'm going to hit the check mark. Um, I've already created a new scene, so I want to hit no for creating a new scene. And it's going to generate my sequence. It's 125 steps total, so which is, that's why we use the compression. Um, sometimes you're just going to have to play with it, but let's just see how it turned out. So, and you can see that, um, now it's doing my my color wheel sinus while it's doing the moving head sequence while the color mixing heads are doing their uh, moving head sequence and their RGB color matrix effect. So and that is just really quickly how you uh, can create multiple effects in one scene uh, one sequence. And it's, as you can see, very simple. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any more questions, write a comment, find me on Facebook, whatever. 
and uh, I'll do what I can to help out. All right, thanks. Bye.